My dear friends, uh, it was recursion that we are in the middle of discussing and there are lot more many problems which I want you to be understanding so that your idea of recursion and how and when to use it uh, can become deeper. Okay guys, without wasting any more time, let us start with our first problem today. The first problem which I would like to discuss is, I want to solve the sum of all digits, which means if an n value is given 5 to 5 1, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13, sum of all these digits is 13. I want that. Now obviously, iteratively you can write this solution. Now, now, don't you think if I have to uh, find this, then one way to do it would be, I can remove, I can remove the last digit, keep it aside. I can take the last digit, keep it aside. Then I'll be left with 5, 2, 5. Then remove the last digit, keep it aside. I'll be left with 5, 2. Remove the last digit, I'll be left with 2. Remove the last digit, I'll be left with 5. There is nothing more to remove. Then it will be, then add all of them up. 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1. Now this is only for people who are revising, who are typing and practicing and most importantly are using their brain. In the last class, we clearly established that if one wants to remove the last digit, you have to divide a number by 10. Can you using the same logic tell me, if I want the last digit, I don't want to eliminate it, I want the last digit, how can I get the last digit of a number? Put it in the chat. Let me see who are those guys who are capable of thinking. Absolutely right. Mod, yes. So you guys are thinking. I am happy. Because if you are not thinking, it means, you know, I am useless. Thank you for proving that I am doing my job, right? Anyways, so that is clear to you. Now, recursively, let us try to write. So first, can this be, be solved recursively? Let us use our three uh, parameters to decide. Number one, can it be broken down into a smaller problem? Number two, can, does the output of the previous problem have a dependency on the next problem? Next is, does it have a base condition? Parameter 1, can it be broken down to smaller problems? Yes. See, if I want to find the sum of 5 to 5, 1, what I can do is, instead of finding the sum of 5 to 5, 1, I can keep 1 aside, find the sum of 5 to 5 first. Instead of finding 5 to 5, I can first keep 5 aside, keep, find the sum of 5 to Keep 2 aside, find the sum of 5. After that, no more digits are there. So clearly, I can be breaking it out into smaller problems. 5 plus sum of 2 ply plus sum of 5 to 5 plus sum of 5 to 5. 1 will give me the sum of all. So yes, previous problem's output has dependency with the next problem. And does it have a base condition? Yes, because the moment there are no more digits, I have hit my base. So see how I would do it. I will write a function, a recursive function. Let us, we'll call it whatever we want. To this function, I will first pass n, right? So the first time I call this function, I will pass n to it. What I will do is, I want to break it into a smaller problem and call the same function. So what I will do is, I will remove the last digit. And you only told me by modding it with 10, you can remove the last digit. Anyways, what I will do is, I will remove the last digit, which means what is the last digit? 1. I have to add that 1, so I will keep it here. And to remind myself, I will just tell plus 1 like this. Then what I will do is, I will remove one digit from this. I will remove the last digit and I will again call this. How to get the last digit you know. How to remove the last digit you know. Again, I am calling the same function. Now what I will do is, I will take the last digit and I will keep it here, which is 5. Which I have to add later. So I am just telling plus 5 like this. And then what I will do is, I will remove the last digit 5 and I will call the same function again. Would you agree with me? Now, the 2 last digit, I want to add it. So I will keep it here. I will keep it here. Plus 2, I will tell. <clears throat> Any confusion till this point of time? Next, what I will do is, I will remove 2 and again call the same function. Which means only one digit is there. Now I want to add this. So the last digit is 5 only. So the last digit I will take and I will keep it aside. Plus 5. I will keep it aside. Then what happens is, again I will remove the last digit and again I will call. When I remove the last digit, obviously at the end, I will have nothing remaining with me. Or I will have 0. Because you know, when you divide it by 10, you will have 0 as the quotient. Now the moment you hit 0, 
what you must understand is that there are no more digits left you have hit your base condition this is my base condition and then next what happens is the moment you hit your base condition now recursion stops now it's all about returning think and tell me what must you return here obviously if you use some brain you will know what you have to return here is the sum of zero digits is zero which means the base condition is going to return zero okay and that zero whatever it returns is what i will add with the last digit present in the previous call which is nothing but 5 and that is what i am also just showing you like this 0 plus 5 0 plus 5 is 5 that is what i will return to the previous call and that 5 will be added to the last digit in that call which is nothing but 2 so 5 plus 2 is nothing but 7 that 7 is returned which will be added here 7 plus 5 is 12 12 is returned which is added here 12 plus 1 is 13 and ultimately 13 is my output how many of you understood this and this is the recursive conditions here if sum of digits of n I must find, it is sum of digits of n by 10. Why? Because I am again calling the same function but removing the last digit, division by 10. But plus, I want to keep the last digit. How will you get the last digit? Mod 10. How many of you understood this perfectly? Put a yes in the chat. If you perfectly understood it. Mm. And I don't see cameras on. Huh? Now I will disappear. Only animations you will see now. Hmm? Okay. Uh, so, anyways. Hmm? <clears throat> Is it crystal clear till this point of time? Okay. Awesome. Let's go write code for this. Now what I will do here is. See, yesterday FIBO we have written print n count digits. Now I am going to create another static function. I uh, will call this function as uh, sum of digits, static sum of digits like this. Static and yeah, obviously what it will return is the sum which is an integer, sum of digits. And uh, what do I want? I want to find the sum of digits of a, uh, of a number called as n. Now to do this, always first base condition you must write. This is my base. So I will tell if in case n value becomes 0 then I will go inside and I will return 0 because the sum of 0 digits is 0. I will come outside. Then what I should do is if I want to find this then first I should find sum of the digits. Sum of digits with one number less last digit removed. So n divided by 10. But I want to to this add the last digit. How will I add the last digit? n modulo 10. So plus n modulo 10. And whatever this gives me is what I should return. So I will tell return like this. I hope I am clear till here. Will this work? Why will it not work? Let me go show you. So here I will just go and uh, new scanner of system dot in. Scan. Uh, I'm going to come down uh, now. I will uh, here. I will tell scan dot next int, and uh, I'll take n and keep it. Now I will call sum of digits, and I'm going to uh, pass that value n. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, n, yeah. I mean, obviously it'll return, so I want to print it. Just out. I've told. I hope I'm clear. Will this work? Let's go execute and check. So if I take you to my execution window. I compile this, so I think it's called recursion.java. No issues, execute it. Okay, uh, n is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So uh, 2 plus 1 is 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. If I press enter, 15. Perfect. It works. Awesome. 